All right, let's see how well this game runs for us. New a campaign, please. Smilesville. Welcome, Keeper. Before you lies a happy and carefree realm. The local champion, Lord Antonius, holds the first portal gem you require. Learn how to construct a dungeon and build up your forces so that you can crush Lord Antonius and wipe the smile from his face. Smilesville. Behold your dungeon heart. Protect it well, for if it is destroyed, you will be banished forever from this land. Here walks the goodly Lord Antonius. Tis he who holds the precious portal gem. But only when you've mustered strength sufficient should you challenge him and claim your prize. Lair. Hatchery. First, there's money to be made. Click on the flashing seam of gold. Your imps will dig out the area you designate. Whoa, that is a wee bit sensitive. Uh, control options. Scroll speed way down, please. Well done. There we go. And now your faithful servant imps will carry back your gold to Dungeon Heart. Once here, it can be spent. The golden scale atop the screen keeps track of your reserves. A start indeed, but more gold is required. 12,000 units should be mine. Observe. Red flowers float above your imps. These give measure to their health. Their skill acquired and reflect the simple thoughts within. Actually, let me check something real quick. Is there anything that tells me I need to find keys? Home and end. Okay. Ah, there we go. Let's zoom out just a tiny bit. Oh, and also... How do I rotate? How do I rotate? If I can. Delete and page down. Okay. Ah, that's better. Excellent work, Keeper. You are ready to recruit more creatures to your cause. See? A portal near your dungeon heart to where your imps must dig. They'll claim this portal to be yours. You'll see what beasts emerge. Yeah, we will. Mo gold. I wish I had more imps, though. But I don't think I have the ability to do that yet. Your dungeon heart is full of gold. No more than 16,000 can it hold. Clean those tiles for me. Behold your portal, the gate through which new creatures enter your domain. 
drawn forth to use the rooms which you provide. Look well. A goblin has entered your domain. On his own, he is a cowardly beast, but in a horde becomes a useful fighting force. Your goblins need a lair where they shall sleep. Tag the flashing area to guide your imps to dig sufficient space. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. Yeah, we're gonna need this too, so I'll just go ahead. A place where creatures feed on favored food. The eggs will hatch and chickens then emerge to satisfy their appetites. The lair, a place of rest where creatures sleep to calm their tempers and restore their health. Good. Now build. Click on the flashing tab to see the choice of rooms. Select the symbol of the bed. Then make a lair that's big enough to hold as many creatures as can be attracted through your portal. Three by five will prove sufficient. Remember, such constructions cost you gold. Good progress, Keeper. See? Your goblins are well rested in their lair, and their bellies full with juicy chicken flesh. Now keep watch, for very soon more goblins will arrive, and then your numbers will be strong enough to challenge Lord Antonius. Your lair is built. Now right-click to cancel building mode. Way ahead of you, bud. I sense a breach. The servants of Antonius have broken through your walls, and you can move your How gaze rude. to see them now by right-clicking on the flashing blades. But why well not this time? For it is only dwarves, who, feeble as they are, pose little threat against your goblins. The hapless enemy dwarfs are being crushed. Observe the white health flowers which appear above them when they're near to death you'll see that only one last petal shows. More territory for me! Hello, Kai. How are you today? Tunnel north, and you will find your smug opponent skulking in his keep. What's that? Alive? Well, you know, that's a step. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. Your creatures have been blessed with experience. Sweet. Away, Keeper! You shall not taint Smilesville with your evil ways! He speaks, the feeble Lord Antonius. See how the petals of his white health flower are of a special shape. This marks him down as your prime target. Take him out. Get him, boys! You might be onto a thing! I love things!
Bravo, Keeper. Lord Antonius is fallen. The portal gem lies aside his helpless form. In wait for Horny to collect it, so it's yours. And comes he now. Here comes he now. Here comes he. Hey, buddy. The game mascot has arrived. new spells in the library. The training room lets creatures improve their combat skills. Devise new spells in the library. Oops, this isn't what I wanted. Lips. Oh my. <laughs> well then. Well done, Keeper. You have successfully ended the life of Lord Antonius, and you have claimed your first portal gem as well. This is a most promising start. I feel like this scoreboard is a bit silly. Sing song. A joyous land filled with light and music. Let us silence their wailing voices once and for all. This land is defended by Lord Darius, a far tougher opponent than Lord Antonius. Only by harnessing the forces of dark magic will you defeat him. Build a library to attract warlocks to your cause, and they will reveal to you the secrets of the arcane. Lord Darius. The good Lord Darius presents himself against you now. He's more worthy as a foe. But use the runes you won from Smilesville to good employ, and you'll slay him dead just like Antonius. Library. Training room. First, or if there's a, a and then a hatchery. Then a play tilt. Portal near your dungeon heart. Mm, doesn't look like it. That's all right. Layer and then a hatchery. Hello there, Lev. <clears throat> it has been a hot minute since I have last played this game, for sure. A 
a new species of creature has entered your dungeon. I have played War for the Overworld. It's, it's quite good as well, uh, although the later missions get a little bit insanely difficult. Dwarf Wave mission? That that one isn't even as bad. The one I really hated, I forget what it was called. Uh, but there was very little actual available land. It was just like a couple little islands. You're surrounded. The enemy is actually quite close to you, but behind a wall. But then most... You're like on a little, sort of like two small islands surrounded by just nothingness. And you get tons of beasts. But you're like just like at your enemy's throat almost immediately. Did not like that one. Is a place where fighting creatures hone their skills. A task First well Titan mission? I don't know what that means. Training creatures will cost gold. Okay. And this one would be horny as the one-off killing machine and we'll try to get these things called titans. I don't think I got that far. I don't think I ever reached a mission where I got titans. Your creatures make good progress. One improves his skill to level two. A creature can trade as high as level four, but that's the limit. Further skill can only be attained out on the battlefield. The basics of your dungeon are in place, but now expand it with a library. Design it square to maximize the space for scrolls, and let your imps make stronger walls to hold more shells. DK3 would definitely have been amazing. Although that's basically what Woofto is. Yeah, that game just got too hard, though. I don't remember what mission it was that I never beat. Um, one thing I remember was there was one mission where I think you teamed up with another keeper. Or something. And I think that was the last one I managed to beat. I don't remember. It's been a little while. It was almost like it was a co-op mission, but with an, but with NPC keeper. Dark now. A warlock has arrived to study spells within your library. His research will serve your magic well. Restrict him not, though, to his books, for when in battle he may prove formidable with fireballs. Every bookcase in your library will attract another warlock to your realm.
Your imps have found some dwarves. These righteous little pests. Get the stunties. Your land. And if they do, destroy them. For that's what they deserve. This is why I like putting my layers and training rooms and library at the end where the entrance to my uh, dungeon is. That way when the contact with the enemy happens, all my guys are hanging out right nearby already. The poultry dwarfs are now destroyed. Like, I feel like the game wanted me to put the lair and stuff down here. Guide them north to find Lord Dark. Then they're on the far end of my dungeon and away from everything else. A left click on your creature picks it up. A right click on claimed land then lets it drop. Be wary though. Don't drop so I don't like that. Enemies, for the dropping stuns these beasts a time and makes them vulnerable to enemy attack. If enemies wander into my dungeon, I want the first thing they run into to be my troops, not my dungeon heart. Then I put the hatchery close by the rest of the stuff, so they don't have to go super far away to eat. So I don't need to put anything down here, but if I did, I might put, uh, later on, I think you get treasury rooms. I would probably put my treasury down here. Or any other room that didn't need to be full of uh, my my fighting guys. Ah, so here's the way to go. A new spell has been researched. Ooh. Mana is the currency of magic, and it's this you spend each time you cast a spell. Your mana level is shown in green atop the screen. Green. Your yep. land will gradually yes. renew it as it's spent. Cast your new spell to create an imp. So open now the panel spells and select the imp's head symbol, then cast it with a click on any land that's yours. A good Look at the gold, it's a keeper. land of the American States. Made good use of your warlock's studious Is it though? Well, this one looks like Texas. Those were just kind of squares. Imps are creatures born of magic and cost mana to sustain. You know what, let's try to embiggen this one a little bit. Hey Lev, do you remember, I know Wolf Toad did this, but I don't remember if this game did this. Is it, does it matter? Uh, do I need to have walls surrounding my rooms? Does that give any kind of bonus or does that not matter? To do this, drop a warlock in the training room. So I remember there were efficiency bonuses in Wooftoe. Uh, but one thing I used to do in the original Dungeon Keepers, I would just empty everything out. now have studied further, offering you another spell to cast, through which a thunderbolt is yours to hurl against such foolish... And none of my, uh... None of my rooms had walls. Everything was just open plan. And I don't know if I was shooting myself in the foot by doing that. I mean, yeah, the library needs bookshelves. But what about other rooms, like the lair or the training room? I guess they have these in the training room. I don't know about the lair, though.
Then again, I don't know if this little moving target on the wall is just a decoration or if it's functional. Targets for arranged people, okay. Which I don't have yet. Lord Darius's walls are punched. Your forces now must kill his guards and stir Lord Darius himself to come defend his land. Oh yeah, there he is. He is using it. Okay. They use it sometimes. Mostly they're using the stuff in the middle, though. Alright, let's get these stunties. Hey, warlocks, you want to help? Uh, you know, they don't need help. Yes, they do. They get an ass is kicked. I don't think these warlocks just eating raw chickens like they're Ozzy Osbourne. You can eat later and you fight now. At last, Lord Darius has been roused. He enters through his hero's gate. Your forces now must kill him, and the portal gem of Sing Song will be yours. Keep up. Dare not think that you will conquer me, you evil wretch. My dwarves and the power of good will drive you from this land. Yeah, is that so? How'd that work out for you? Get him! Lord Darius lies down. Now comes Holy to claim you the portal gem. Your progress is most pleasing. <laughs> I see you blasted Lord Darius off the face of the realm. A most entertaining way to claim a portal gem. To hear their singing turn to screaming has been a tremendous joy to my ears. Who put those piercings on the chickens? That's what I want to know. Ramshackle. This is a peaceful land, but a poor one, since its defender, Lord Avaricious, has frittered away his riches. If you can amass enough gold, he will surely be tempted into leaving his fortress and attacking you personally. Build a workshop and fill your realm with fiendish traps and doors to protect your hard-won treasuries. Lure this fool to his doom and claim his portal gem. Lord Avaricious hides within his fortress proud. He's well defended, but gold's his weakness. To lure him from his stronghold, mine all the gold within his realm.
treasury. Workshop. Sentry trap. Wooden door. Wooden door. Okay, uh... Let me start this way. No other obvious gold, though. Your dungeon heart will only hold a sum of 16,000 gold. So build a treasury for the excess to amass. You need a treasury to store gold. Hmm. I guess I could do that down here. But also. You have claimed a portal. The swift light fireflies essential as an airborne scout. His eyes are yours to penetrate dark places and report. Your creatures require a place to rest. Build them a lair. Hey Jack, how's it going today? I am back to it. Good trip on a bicycle. Where'd you go? To be a lord of Arishus in his stronghold, mine all the gold within his realm. A firefly has become unhappy because it has no lair. Around town? Oh, okay. I thought you might on an actual like major trip or something. Three point five kilometer loop to get in shape. Nice. That must be working out pretty well then. Species of creature has entered your dungeon. 
A workshop should be built, so trolls will come and use it for their fabrication, benefiting you with traps and doors to help defend your underground creation. I miss having a bike. I used to bike to, to school all the time back in high school. But I don't really have anywhere to store one now. This apartment is too small. I don't want to have to keep it on the balcony. Get destroyed by the weather. That man! A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. Become unhappy because he has no lair. Well, then set up a lair, dummy. Nobody's stopping you. There you go. Troll arrives, attracted by the spell of the workshop. His craftsman skills are set to serve you well. Troll la 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 la. And doors for you to use in your defense. Tis well built. Now choose the hammer tab to see the workshop panel. Then select the symbol for the sentry trap. A goblin has become unhappy because he has no lair. The tire which flashes near your dungeon heart is a good place as any for a sentry trap. Now watch. Your trolls will fabricate the trap, then imps will take it to its designated place. There we 
There we go. Imp spell has been upgraded. Upgraded how? I don't know what that does. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. It is payday. Place well your wooden doors in narrow tunnels to slow down hostile enemies as they invade. These sentry traps will only fire if sufficient is your mana for their power. A troll has become unhappy because he has no lair. Feels like OG Startopia. I've never played Startopia. Your hatchery is under attack. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. Must open the wall, <laughs> the door, and suddenly get shot in the face with a cannon. Take that! How many warlocks do I have? Three, huh? Two of you could be training. So get to that. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. Alright, so I should take this out and they'll have lost guys to come at me with. Ooh, it's a thingy. Get the thingy. Spoil my land. Bring it on, sucker. Should make a save game. Your doors are locked with one left click upon them. Lock trolls within your workshop and watch them work without distraction. Although in time, they'll yearn to sleep or food. Get them! Now the guy himself came out. Wasn't expecting that to happen yet. Well, I guess that was the last of the gold though, wasn't it? Yeah, you're saying?
Another portal gem is yours. Your wickedness inspires us all. Your simple ways of glory to be. Sertopia's on Steam for six bucks? Hmm. Oh, look at that. All change. Ah. Poor little guy. Up next, Keeper. The sunlit kingdom of the heroes draws a little closer with each victory, and this was cleverly fought. Well done. Lord Avaricious lies broken before you with his gold in your coffers. Who says you can't buy happiness? I do love the fact that they got this guy back for War for the Overworld. Shady Grove. Your next adversary, Lord Ludwig, is currently patrolling his keep, considering himself and all of his subjects safe in this land. Known as a cowardly wretch, he has always relied on others to do his fighting for him. This is one battle he will not avoid. Lord Ludwig knows your intentions, even Keeper. But Mark. He cowers in his castle, locked away behind what he supposes is the safety of the drawbridge now destroyed by his own hand. From here, he has entrusted your destruction to his goodly warriors, whom he feels are more than equal to the task. For our part, we must know that they and he will perish, slain by forces under your command. Okay, let's see what we got. Come on, man, I need more imps. You need a treasury to store gold. Okay, let's see. So let me see a layer. Training room, library. I should know that. Hmm. Hatchery, layer, training room, library. Ah, uh, workshop. An extra treasury can go at the bottom.
eventually. Afford to build this room. Pick up the gold, then, you lazy bastards. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. Guys, pick up the gold. Come on. Top chop. Keep pumping the walls, I guess. I need to see what's over here. Find more gold sources. Observe the creature panel on your screen. Click on creatures' numbers once or more to carry them, then drop them where you will, just as before. Observe also the symbols which lie beside. Use these to gauge your beast's activities, the number which now fight or work, and whether they remain good-humored. Drop your creatures here to keep them lively and alert, thence ready for the fight. The flashing area which surrounds it marks the zone where any brush with trouble by your creatures will give cause for them to dash back and report, so reinforcements can be found. Make sure there's adequate provision for your minions' needs nearby, for though they are on guard, they still require their creature comforts, and it's wise to minimize the time they stray from duty. Possession spell. Cast on a given creature that's true, Drake. I can pick up the gold myself, but I, that's what I've got minions for. Its eyes ...and makes its movement fully under your control. Alright. So we've got a free guard room over there and over there. There's one gold source there, but what's going to be beyond that, I don't know. Pretty sus.
I wonder why that's crossed out. Am I not allowed to build, build more of my own? Behold, the Dark Elf. Her sniping skills are sharp as bolted arrows which she shoots. She serves you well in line behind your fighters and excels in duty as a guard. What are bolted arrows? That's... what? Very strange. So where is she? Did she appear up there somewhere? A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. Your create imp spell has been upgraded. Maybe the rank two create imp just creates an imp already at level two. I'm not sure. Guess I can't destroy these because I can't claim the territory there. two things. Alright. We'll have to forge upwards. Really use new gold sources though. Let's see what's up north. You have claimed the guard room. There we go. There's gold in them there hills.
Your possession spell has been upgraded. There is nothing left to research. <laughs> well, I guess my warlocks had better get training, eh? Oh, the Dark Elf's mine, that's why. I didn't see her attacking anywhere. That makes sense. Why do I only have one goblin? That's weird. No trolls. It is payday. I wish I had some bridges. I don't remember if they had bridges in this one. So I could destroy these hero gates. I know Woofto had them. I don't remember if this game had them. Coming. Oh, so these people just hang out in the guard room by themselves. Nice. Didn't even have to tell them. Maybe that's a dark elf thing. I don't know. Seems weird that no trolls showed up. There must be some sort of limit to how many creatures you can have in a map or something. And I've taken them up with warlocks and dark elves. With these weird shapes on the map, I thought for sure there'd be some hidden magic artifacts in there or something.
Definitely a bit surprised that there weren't. There's combat. Where's their combat? I have found some motherfuckers. Oh, <laughs> this guy's exaggerated sneak. Do 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 do. Get the M's. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. Ooh, where? Finally, there is one. Your Boom! Creatures have been blessed with experience. Yeah. Free level ups. Come on, guys, finish digging this tunnel. I wanna I wanna see if there's an artifact in here too. Come on now. Your treasury is too small. You're too small. That's what she said. Tons of gold now, anyway. Hey, I knew it. Need to be one around here somewhere. See, you have discovered a magical item. Your creatures have been blessed with experience. Hell yeah. Give me some frickin' trolls. You know what? Let's expand the workshop slightly. See if that helps. Shouldn't matter, but... Let's try it anyway. Alright. 
something around the sides first. I wonder if I can nudge my way into their base from the sides and not have to do a frontal assault. That'd be nice. Behold, Lord Ludwig's old decrepit servant, Bob, who's left on guard alone. Disturb him, and he'll call his comrades. It would be best if he stayed quiet. Possess a dark elf. Use her eyesight. Zoom your vision to the target. Once you have him, shoot and kill. Sure, that'll keep him quiet. Your mm. creatures are complimenting you on your dungeon. I guess we can try that. I'm not sure what the controls are like when possessing. It is payday. Huh. Your treasury is too small. I don't know how to make her shoot. <laughs> you possess your creatures admirably. I see you are adept at this new skill. So, Not really. time to try another. Grouping. It enables you to band a number of your beasts together in a group. To do it, first possess a creature, then select the group key. Then look through the creature's eyes which you possess. And then... When you spy another, left click upon the mouse. All creatures thusly grouped will follow you wherever you may go. Nah, I'm good. I don't like possession mode that much. What I want is to be able to put <clears throat> I think there's a spell for it later or something. To be able to put like a a rallying flag down on the screen. And everybody just goes for that. I know Wolfto had it. So I guess that right there is the main assault after all, huh? Means this was actually just a little sneaky bugger. Discovered a magical item. Have I? Ah, oh, there it is. The entire realm has been revealed to you. Oh, oh my. Why aren't you fighting the thing? Fight the thing! There we go. portal in here. Break down the door when you can just destroy the walls around it, eh?
Woja, Woja. Clean these tiles, please. Thank you. A second portal is now claimed. Prepare, as from it five more creatures may be drawn. Yeah, okay. So the number of portals I have is the limit of how many creatures I can have. Not sure how much the first one gives you. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. Yeah, there's a troll. A bit late, but I, hey, why not? So I like how the claiming of tiles is just jumping up and down on the spot. <laughs> this is mine now. Why did a bunch of arrows fly out of there? Because the Dark Elf? The presence has been announced. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. You have been blessed with extra imps. Ooh, free imps. Neat. All right, let's dig out here. See if we if there's more magic items, and then we can assault. is too small. That's what she said. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. Just, you know, dark elf noises. Those are such beautiful creatures. Portals have attracted as many creatures as they can. All right, it's time. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. Get them, boys.
and whatever gender the elves are. Elf gender. Is he teabagging that corpse? <laughs> you have taken over an enemy guard room. I sure have. All right, I love you guys. To guard duty. Guard the enemy's dungeon from them. It is payday. Get him. Where are you going? You morons. No? Well, behind him, we're just taking over his dungeon. Just claiming it out from under him. Game Giant. Uh -huh. The land corrupted to your cause, and for once your minions are as pleased as you are. Lord Ludwig seems an old and overweight foe. At his peak, he would have been a far greater challenge. Still, you took a gamble and appropriated another portal gem. Well done, Keeper. Well done, Keeper. Elm Shadow. You face a strange quest this time, Keeper. You must not only conquer this land, you must also conquer fear. Lord Constantine has installed himself as master of all he surveys at Keep Fear, and protected himself with powerful traps. It is said that all who attempt to depose him turn back at their first attempt, their faces contorted with terror. Oh, we can't be having that. Lord Constantine, the gutless knight who guards his gates with traps of fear. Your creatures may be loath to face them with their might. It's up to you to find an elegant solution to this puzzle, whereupon your thoughts may manufacture beasts so frightening themselves that fear is a paltry weapon to their sight. Guard room. Wooden bridge. Game saved. Okay. Claimed a portal. 
I'm not sure where the enemy is yet, but based on the map layout here, I'm guessing they're off to the east this time. Treasury to store gold. Hmm, enemy stuff already, huh? Not ideal. Taken over an enemy bridge. Aha, bridges are things then. Good. Oh, I can make my own now already. Nice. Attracted any critters yet, though. That's weird. Should at least have some goblins or something. I don't have 
have any goblins. Do I need a bigger hatchery? Concerning. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Level four. Man, what the hell? Busted. This the imps can fight. Super well, but just a bit. Hello, Larson. Long time no see. You have taken over an enemy bridge. It has been a little while, yes. But I am back from my trip. And once again exist. In fact, I've got some footage of uh, a little float plane trip I took while I was out there on my YouTube. For those curious. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Game, can I have some proper creatures, please? Why don't I have anybody? This is confusing. Am I supposed to be relying completely on skeletons for this? Is that why? Taken over an enemy prison. 
The prison is the place where imps will drag your wounded victims. There they'll rot and perish, turning last to bones. Then skeleton creatures will emerge, created, yours to use in battle with your foes. Dungeon Heart is under attack. Yes, I'm aware, game. Thank you. I guess I'm bound. <laughs> yep. Take those guys to prison. Let's get some skelly mans rolling in here. Should probably make some additional prison space. If these guys would even use the one that I've got. Uh Say anything in my mission objectives. Uh, find and claim the prison, create skeletons. That's what I'm trying to do here. But they keep attacking me and I can't get to the prison. Okay, beat the, somebody beat this wizard and then maybe I can get some hot prison action going. I think I shouldn't have expanded north. Your dungeon heart is under attack. But at the time I didn't know where the friggin' prison even was. Can I build more prison now? No. It's, it's on the list, but it's crossed out for some reason. Only when on land you claimed. So when a creature perishes on water or on lava, it is for you to build a bridge beneath it. Only then can be dragged to where it serves you best. Yeah, I don't know what's happening with the stream lag. It, I'm seeing it too on my stream that's open on the side, but it's not lagging in the game. But OBS is showing a bad bit rate, so I think maybe I've got not the best bit rate to uh, to the upload there. Hmm. It's showing, it's showing green now. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe the constant battle was messing with it. All 
All right, here we go. No, well, not that. Uh... There. The wooden bridge. You'll find these useful as you build your landlocked creatures. Easy passage over water, even lava. But be cautious over lava, as the bridge will slowly perish in the heat. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Again. I'm not sure why there's even a creature portal if the thing's not going to do anything. Maybe it'll start working after I get my first skeleton, I don't know. It'd be great if this guy could hurry up and die though. Hurry up and starve to death and become a skeleton, please. in your prison and has risen as a skeleton. Yay! The skeleton. This fearless set of bones needs neither sleep nor nourishment. It's only urge to kill and when in battle marches forth and slays without remorse. I have something that can fight now. You want to get up there and fight that guy, maybe? Get him! Get him! Hmm. There we go. Got him. I need to destroy these cannons. You need a treasury to store gold. Hmm. I need to destroy these cannons, but I don't think my one skeleton can do it. Capable it would be if I had just possessed the skeleton. Let's try that. Oh no, it's it needs more health. How, how do I get the skeleton more health? Is that even possible? Because it doesn't sleep. I like the fact that his name is Mook though.
Well, so if it gets defeated, what happens then? Does it just get destroyed or does it get healed somehow in that room? I don't know how this works. Alright, I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn into a skeleton and then I'm gonna possess him. Try to kill these cannons. Can you, can you starve a little bit faster, please? That would be nice. A creature has died in your prison there we go. and has risen as a skeleton. Rattle, 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 rattle. Eh. Such exciting first-person combat. All right, got rid of those cannons. That's nice. We just don't have to be getting constantly shot at anymore. I really wish I could expand the prison, but I don't appear to be able to. Hmm. Okay, well. I guess it's back to exploring. The, uh, let the skeletons rack up on their own. I don't have to worry about them dropping the corpses constantly anymore. quiver with foreboding when they approach the fear traps here. It's only death which will enable any creature to surpass their fear. are impressed with your work. Aw, how sweet of them. Okay, uh... I guess we can make a treasury over here. I see you have discovered a magical item. Sure have, buddy. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. Your mana reserves have been increased. That's not exciting. Hidden realm has been made available. What does that mean? Of 
I don't know what that means. to store gold. <laughs> One of your imps does a great impression of you. He can even do the ears. That's impressive. Uh, let's get rid of that little bridge piece so they stop trying to go over there. It is payday. Well, that should be cheap. I'm not paying anybody. I see you have discovered a magical item. Me and my still only two skeletons. Uh. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. Funny how now that I have somebody who can actually fight, they've stopped sending attacks at me, huh? Creatures have been healed. Your treasury is too small. There's no way I'm get beating this guy with two skeletons.
There's nobody else attacking me. I can't make any more. Coward, send more attacks at me. I need more mans. something. Yeah, it has increased my army by 50%. Maybe double soon. Are you just going to go away now? Come on, Skellies, get him! Thanked him pretty good. Alright, Skellies, I need you to kill this door. is too small. I don't need your negativity, man. A creature has died in your prison and has risen as a skeleton. See you have discovered a magical item. You're not gonna finish off that door? Come on, lazy bitch. Ah! 
<laughs> it's it's just hot stranger action. Are these free skeletons for me? Hell yeah. They had their own little starvation prison back here. If this is So how have you been, Blast? All right. It's yesterday I had little to no air conditioning. Ew. Yeah, something was wrong. It was blowing, but not blowing cold air, and so they uh I got a guy out here and he fixed it, but it wasn't there it was like one little part to replace on the unit outside and it was working fine. But it was it was very hot in my house. But it's nice and nice and comfy now. That's good. Holy crap, I just got ten free imps. Ooh, imps. That's a lot. Oh, well, it should have stopped at imp. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Game of Thrones <laughs> line. Now you call the imp and then later call it dwarf, so you should have stopped at imp. <laughs> hey, that's, that guy's the best guy in the show, Tyrion. Oh, yeah. Even if I'd the actor's say, a bit of a dick. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's nice to say that now you made your bag. Other folks gotta work, Pete. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, let's see. Tyrion the Light, uh, Arya. Yeah, she was great too. <laughs> uh, Clegane, the Hound. Mm hmm. Yep. Brienne, uh, of course. Brienne. Oh, of course, uh, Olena, uh, Lady Olena Tyrell. Uh, fucking Diana Rigg. <laughs> it's like... Brienne really, uh, really loomed the fuck over everybody in, in Wednesday, though. Did oh, you yeah. see that? Oh, really? Did you watch oh, the Wednesday TV series? I've not seen all of it, but <laughs> are you talking about it as an actress or just physically? <laughs> yes and yes. <laughs> you want to see a funny thing? There was a kind of a the cast lineup. This huge. <laughs> for uh, like when they started doing the you know the the sequel uh, trilogy of uh, Star Wars. There's all the cast lineup, everybody, and You're in that lineup, on the one end you had uh, Gwendolyn Christie, on the on the other end you had Peter Mayhew, you know, Chewbacca. Oh wow. She's not much shorter than him. <laughs> that is a tall woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and in Wednesday she was wearing high heels, too, so she just... Oh, damn. All, all the men were, like, looking way up at her. <laughs> oh, what is this? I just got something in the mail. I have to look it up. A neutral creature sends word that he can't make it today. What's up with your sound? I don't know. What's up with it? Okay, I'm you're sounding fine, but the game is kind of crackling like it's almost like uh, a lag in the sound. Like through through the Discord watch, you mean? Yeah. It might be because it, it was uh, when I tried to enable that it was uh it needed some sort of old program to be able to do it so it might not have installed well ooh i don't know and see so i think you're trying to All right. i think it is time to invade let's see let's save although mm. if this doesn't work yeah, out i don't know what else i can do to to make it work out mm. All right, Skellies. Mm. Uh, Skellington. <laughs> Attack! Uh, okay. Uh, it's like some kind of... I don't know this game, so... Oh, this game started a genre. 
Oh, the, it, the way they're all coming slowly, is this like a tower defense game? or? Nope. Not really. It's like a taking territory. Mm. It's hard to explain. It, it started its own genre. Have you, have you ever seen War for the Overworld? No. Because this game inspired that. Mm. I can't let me bolt these. Okay. Uh. But basically, you, you you dig out territory. You 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 build rooms that give you certain types mm. of creatures and abilities. You build up an army and you, and you take over the uh, the other guy's territory. Mm. See, I've got my little imps coming in here now. They're mm. All, all the white tiles are the enemy tiles, the red tiles are mine. Mm. So they're coming in and claiming his territory. And this is... These little red circles over here represent my the health of my minions. Mm. Taking over, or while they're fighting an enemy trap. Ultimately, our objective is to kill this guy here, the enemy lord. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That is an unfortunate infusion of new mans that he just received. Alright, cast spells on him. Yeah. Mm. Part of the trick with using spe spell casting mm -hmm. offensively is you can only cast spells mm -hmm. on targets mm -hmm. that are on your territory. Mm -hmm. So you gotta lure them out or, or claim their ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's all these things you said. Uh, there is no eye in team, but there is there are six eyes, and I don't care how big the room is, I cast fireball. <laughs> yep. I didn't even ask. I just said <laughs> I cast. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's a that's a fun quote. Where's my prison? Yeah, but the fact that that, that expands on it is what I like so much. It's yeah. Like, you know, I and team. There are six, and I. Don't <laughs> <laughs> So the gimmick on this level is that I don't get my normal set of creatures, but what I can do is yeah. beat up enemy creatures and then put them in my prison where they slowly starve to death and become skeleton uh, warriors. Ah, uh, that's kind of horrible. <laughs> Did I mention this game is about uh, being an evil overlord running a dungeon? I guess so. All right, so I lost my skeleton, but I've got three, no, four of their guys in prison. It was very unfortunate when he got all those reinforcements just then. I know my prison's too small, but I can't make it any larger. I'm having trouble increasing the size of my prison, ladies. <laughs> Finish this guy off. Yeah, die. I'll give you the die. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> this map is pretty tough. Might need to restart it, depending on how this goes. I would have had him too if it wasn't for those darn kids. <laughs> I mean, reinforcements. Died in your prison and is risen as a skeleton. There we go. The starvening begins. Fortunately, they're gonna be level one though. Hmm. Yeah, I can think of a few ways I would do this differently if I had to restart, which I might.
Maybe I can last long enough to let my guys train for a little bit. It's funny if my imps just killed these guys in the meantime. They are little cowards. I found huh? the thing I've got. Oh, just I found something that I have got to put in Kai's uh, memes. Uh huh. Because I think she will like it. There. I'll have to check that out later. Yeah. Ethics. I don't know if I have something I can read out here on a live feed. Your dungeon heart is under attack. Hmm. Yeah, this is going poorly. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try... ...reloading that last save. Maybe I can lure some stuff out. Larson, such language in chat over there, sir. So I need to see if I can get him out of there without the portal reinforcements showing up. Ideally. Destroy these traps. I don't want to kill these two guys, and then I want to be able to get them in the prison. Claim that territory quick before those bodies die. Goes one. Oh shit. I need to get my skelly mans out of there. Alright, I'll see what happens. Reinforcements got triggered, but I got my skeletons to safety. Question is, are all these fuckers gonna attack me now? Probably. Maybe my skelly mans can heal. I don't know.
Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's see. Well, the Lord's over here by himself now. That's that's foolish of him. All right. Kill this man. Mm. If you can. Skeletons again. I mean, I'm only gonna get two new ones. Alright, yeah, I think I need to start this map over completely, but I'll do that next time, I think. Alright, uh, let us end the game for now.